When developing your team and in developing that trust, because I imagine a lot of the reasons that leaders and managers hold on to those decisions and those activities is because they haven't really given an opportunity for their team to show up. Right. What what advice do you have for a leader that's hesitant, holding on and, and trying to do it all, even though they know that they can't? Yeah. So, you know, the, the first question is why, why are you doing that? Right. There's something um, in the leader's best that the leader thinks is in their best self-interest for them to be holding on. Um, and maybe they don't trust the team yet. Uh, maybe uh, the team hasn't shown that they will do things and get the kind of results the leader wants. Um, or maybe it's just a bad habit. Uh, but first, you know, to do a little self-introspection and see if you can figure out why uh, you are holding on. Um, and then secondly, I always tell people to try new behaviors in low-risk situations. So if you're going to let go of something, do not take the biggest, most important thing that's sucking up all your time that you might want to get rid of. Uh, right? Don't give that away first, but, but try with something smaller so that you can start to develop this level of trust and understanding with your team that they'll, they will be able to pick things up and carry them on, and then you can move on to, to delegating larger things. But uh, a lack of, um, of good delegation skills, uh, not only will it be bad for your organization, but it's bad for you. You know, you become a single point of failure, and at that point, you're not promotable. Uh, and you are um, um, holding your organization back from being able to scale and grow.